All right, hi everyone. Uh, this is Serious Trivia. Uh, welcome back to another uh, Lessons from the Battlefield. Uh, we're continuing off. Uh, we finally on uh, later turns where we can recruit our army. Uh, we actually recruited uh, a new strategist, uh, Li Xiu, right here. Uh, basically picked him up because of his traits. Um, just a regular level one strategist, nothing impressive. Uh, I equipped him with four archer militia and two tribuches. Uh, tribuches are extremely powerful in this game, and I highly recommend all of you to pick them up as early as possible. Uh, as for militias, um, depending on the faction you're playing, uh, with Liu Bei, he has 50% uh, upkeep for all uh, infantry militia units, so they're extremely worth it in terms of uh, money. Uh, that's why I decided to go with archer militias. Uh, other options are archers and crossbowmen, uh, both uh, very good units. Um, the fight here, uh, I have also introduced a new unit here. Uh, this is a spear guard. Uh, spear guard, let's rotate it around to take a good look at them. Carry these big shields. Ah, they have big shield. That's why they have 45% uh, range block chance. Uh, they are, uh, if you take a look at their damage output, uh, they have only 7 base damage, 26 armor piercing damage, so it's decent. Uh, most on the armor piercing side is good. Uh, they have good uh, melee evasion from the front because of the shield. Uh, they also have good uh, armor uh, as a total, uh, totality, uh, with the uh, shield as well. Basically, they're defined by their big shields. Uh, they become even more useful. Uh, once you have a level 4 strategist, where they get new formations. Uh, we'll get there in later battles. Uh, Guan is a little restless here. Uh, we're doing a city assault, which has not been done before on this uh, series. This is uh, the city of Taishan. It's a level 2, uh, I believe level 2s are uh, town. Yes, I think they're town. That's what they're called. Uh, There's a center region, once again with a capture point, that provides extra morale. Uh, it's surrounded by this beautiful moat, uh, but on the back side, if you notice, uh, there's no uh, tower on this side, which is interesting. And they have four arrow towers leading onto the moat. Uh, over here, there's a series of small moat that runs along the city. You have arrow towers going around. Uh, the defending force is not just the garrison. Uh, we're facing uh, Yellow Turban General's Huang Shao, as well as one of his other generals. Uh, their units are not fully replenished uh, from their... I don't know what fight they were in, but they were not fully replenished. Uh, neither are our army. Uh, we are also, uh, I think, a turn away from being fully replenished, but we decided to take the fight anyways. Uh, because of the... Um, the way the city is laid out, uh, this city in particular, there is no arrow towers on this side. Uh, we will use our range unit to our full advantage and start attacking from here, right? Because the arrow, none of the arrow tower can reach us as we fire from over here. Uh, if we cannot uh, defeat the enemy with just our range units, uh, we'll then proceed to maybe enter the city from the side about here and uh, go through uh, maybe just this lightly defended area. Uh, we can also utilize our uh, tribuches to take out these arrow towers, although at level 1 uh, and without flaming shot, uh, the turrets are the, ter the tribuches are not ac uh, terribly accurate and they're uh, not as effective. So let's line up our troops over here behind this tree line. Uh, you can see the range can cover up to here, which is decent. Uh, we'll just have our units uh, resting over here. We'll send our archers in front. Uh, and they will probably hide in the tree line. Uh, I am maybe anticipating the enemy riding out to meet us. So we'll see how that goes. And we'll have just everyone else standing right behind because we're not going to be utilizing them for a little bit. Uh, we'll be manually controlling our tribuches. I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, we won't have it auto fire. Okay. And we can start and let see the enemy deployment. And Actually, before we do that, we're going to do something that uh, we kind of learned from the last um, battle. If we hide our units, uh, the enemy actually don't know where to uh, send their defensive force and will just clump up in the capture point. Uh, we're going to do the same idea here. Uh, we're going to hide all our units, just stack them into the forest. So I'm expecting them to just clump up here. 
and then we'll slowly march them out. It'd be a little bit of time wasted, but you know, maybe we can just hide the trebuchets here closer to the uh, spot we want to have them, because they move terribly, terribly slow. All right, let's get started. So as we predicted, because the way we placed our units, and the enemy has just decided to clump up in the middle. This is perfect for us. Uh, we want to utilize, uh, we want to clump them. That's that's the first thing. Uh, we're going to move our tribuchets as close to the place as possible without getting shot back by the archers. Uh, the closer they are, uh, the more accurate the shot is. Uh, the smaller the splash pattern of the shots become. Uh, we're going to just march these guys out. Uh, you'll take them a while to come out and meet us. They do decide to come out, so I am not sending any help. Uh, the AI is very, very dumb in city defense. Uh, they tend to stay inside the city uh, for as long as possible until you decide to enter the city. Um, I don't know why they program this way, but uh, it feels uh, just very stupid to me. Uh, we're gonna come to this side. We don't want to hit this building. Uh, we can hit it, uh, but it'd just be a waste of ammo. We want to get a good angle on the enemy troops. Uh, as we can see here, this is Huang Shao. This is the leader of the Huang Shao uh, uh, faction of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. He's not particularly healthy. Uh, he's probably only a uh, 10,000 hit point. This is Guan Hai, uh, his uh, subordinate, also low on health. Uh, we basically gave up on our turn of replenishment so we can catch them before they uh, replenish all the way as well. Uh, Yellow Turban Generals and Units um, are surprisingly strong in this game. Um, so. Uh, if you see full health units, especially certain characters like He Man or uh, Pei Yuan Shao, uh, I don't recommend you getting into a duel with them unless you have a very uh, powerful general like Guan Yu, because they are probably much stronger than generic units. Uh, we also see he has a lot of good items. Uh, if you click on him, you can check his uh, inventory. Uh, Aria is um, actually the first written dictionary in, in China. Uh, he has his personalized armor. Guanhai also has a uh, two-handed maze. Just, they also have a um, lot of buffs uh, from their units. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time with uh, Yellow Turban uh, units, so I'm not particularly good at giving uh, advice about the units. They move terribly slow, so we're going to actually triple speed this to get them through the forest. It's just terribly, terribly slow. Uh, I'm still keeping the rest of them hidden, uh, just so that they don't react to it and by going to any of the doors. Uh, even if we start firing on them, uh, they're not going to do much. They might change their stance into a loose formation or something like that, but other than that, they'll largely stay put and let you hit them, uh, which is extremely dumb. Um, so this is the captain unit of the garrison. These are the two generals. They are basically this position in your army. Uh, once you kill them, uh, their units suffer morale loss, uh, etc. Uh, when we do attack the city, I feel like the turrets might not do all the work. Uh, we might have to go through some of these barricades. So barricades that are highlighted in white are activated. Uh, you can destroy these, but they take a lot of time, or you have to just go around them, which isn't too bad, right? Going around here is not too bad. Um, but yeah, let's let's first uh, act out our tribuchet plan. So you see, this is a range. Uh, why do I say uh, uh, closer is better? Because if you look, if you hold down Alt, uh, you'll see a circle appear on the map as you select them. This is how you manually fire. You Alt, you hold down Alt, and you right click to fire anywhere you want within their range. Uh, at the edge of the range, you see the circle showing where the splash pattern might occur. It's quite big, but as you pull it closer and closer to the range, uh, you get the circle down to a much smaller uh, circle. So if you want to hit here, you can hit very accurately to a point. So that's why you want to pull your units as close as possible. Uh, it seems like the archers can't come to this area. You see the X? It means this area, this whole palace building block is not traversable. So we're not afraid of the archer coming here to shoot us, so we'll get even closer for that accuracy boost. And then instead of selecting a, f a certain unit, uh, we'll be shooting into an area, right? If we fire into this area right here, you see the splash the splash pattern? Uh, we'll be hitting into uh, you know all these units at the same time uh, very accurately and doing the maximum amount of damage. Uh, you can do this with um, 
early low level trebuchet to improve their accuracy or else their shots go all over the place as the AI tries to predict the enemy pathing and all that stuff uh, is just not as accurate as using uh, you know manual aiming. Uh, later on when you hit like level 9 or 10 like full level trebuchets uh, you don't have to worry about it you can just leave it on auto fire they're very very accurate even at long range um, and then when you have flaming shot you know you get that extra splash explosion damage uh, it's, it's a farther reason to not use um, auto aim but if you have the time to micro auto aim is always uh, very good so we'll let them all line up get ready to fire and then we're going to showcase uh, how we fire this so we line up let's say we want to hit here uh, we right click and they fire away into that little circle yeah they still very inaccurate because they're level one uh, let's group them they'll continue to fire that spot until you tell them to change it seems like a lot of the shots were short in the first volley okay we're getting some hits uh, maybe we move them up uh, our main goal is to take out most of these archers then our archers can free hit on the enemy uh, infantrymen. Uh, it's hard to detect these um, non-flaming shot hits. Okay, they start to move, we stop firing. Uh, we start firing here into that bridgehead. Uh, it will be the bottleneck point, so we can get a lot of damage down as they try to cross the bridge. Uh, let's see them fire. All right. And after that volley, fire here. Right, see, that, that's devastating to them once you hit them. Uh, level 1 trebuchet is, is difficult. Uh, you're just not as accurate as it can be. Uh, but be patient. Uh, start leveling them up early. Uh, in especially easier fights. Uh, we want to... That's going to do a lot of damage. We want to level them up. They become better and better. They're going to serve you well in future fights. Okay, I guess we're quick here. Oh, they're coming back. That's interesting. Uh, see, this unit already killed 97 men. This unit has killed 117 men. Uh, we'll see how they are moving before we decide because we don't want to waste any of our ammo. Our ammo is precious. We only have four shots left, five shots left on him. Uh, so we want to do as much as we can. Uh, if they want to walk closer to us, that's welcome because uh, we definitely do more damage and more accurate up close than uh, from far away. And we want to hit them when they're as clumped as possible as well. So we just be patient. Um, you know, no need to rush the game. Uh, and we're just going to wait for them to line up again. Mm. Let's see, let's see how, how many men are actually going to come in here. Once again, range block chance and all those stats uh, don't really affect the trebuchet uh, damage as well. If you can see their damage, but you actually can't see their... Oh, you can see their damage here. Uh, they hit for armor piercing damage only, uh, 1.2k. Uh, it says it can be blocked, um, but in my experience, I don't think you can actually block the impact of trebuchet hits. They're not considered uh, projectiles. Uh, they're not uh, they're considered projectile but they're not considered arrows like range uh, so let's continue here let's hit this clump right in the middle here All right, that's a good hit Use your shield to block uh, rocks. Just the accuracy is just something that's uh, not not so great. So if we instead switch onto a unit, uh, we can also test out the accuracy here for comparison. Let's see if it will hit this unit accurately. Uh, it's very accurately hitting these units. I'll hit that right here. Yeah, they're just not very accurate at this level. Uh, so, uh, get them closer, uh, aim at a certain area, and that, they're, out of, they're out of ammo here. Alright, at least we got some hits on these units. Alright, so they did their job. We can pull their, uh, I guess their uh, trebuchet uh, 
worker here back. Uh, we're gonna start planning our assault onto the actual city. Uh, we move our archers all to this position. Uh, they're gonna be our unit group. We're gonna see if we can snipe some of these guys from uh, the river without going close to the tower. Right, we're gonna be watching on the tower range. So it's better to go this side. We have these towers actually face out towards us. Uh, these face out to the side. It's okay, you can ignore the tribuches. Um, they're not valuable. Uh, these men are more valuable. Uh, if the men die, uh, if you reduce the number of men, next time you come to the field, you have less tribuches. But if someone like damages the tribuches, but you still have the manpower, next time you come on the field, you just get new tribuches. Uh, we'll move the archers up. We'll move the other men over here because we're probably going to have to assault it from this direction. We'll have to utilize Vilbei's ability to block arrows. Uh, talking about that ability, he will follow the archer group uh, just in case we have a, a archery battle where we have to fire each other. He can use his ability to shield our archers. Uh, basically, every, everything I'm doing is trying to reduce casualty and giving us the edge in battle. Uh, it's basically the goal of um, the game as well as the series is try to improve uh, how efficiently you can fight these battles. So first we're going to line them a little bit back and then we'll slowly inch up to kind of judge if we can hit them with the range. Uh, from what I see about this range indicator, it seems like we definitely can hit them, uh, but we want to line them up and then walk up together to get the full volley. If we just click on, like, say, that unit, they'll walk up, you know, kind of uh, let the AI do the pathing, and uh, I'm not in favor of that. So let's get all these guys lined up, and we'll walk up together in formation. Uh, once again, let's go fast forward here. Uh, don't want to waste uh, any of our time. Alright, everyone's in position. Uh, so when everyone's in position like this, you can actually use your arrow key and just uh, move them and then they'll stay in this position together. Uh, or you can just spread them out again. Or you can use the lock group function that we talked about in the first lesson. Um, I'll just drag them up. We can kind of visualize where the range end. Um, we'll have these guys probably just line up as close as possible just to see if they can get some shots in. Uh, they also don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, the two unit that Liu Bei has has 15 ammo because it's low cunning. Uh, the units that uh, Li Xiu has has 19 ammo. Uh, they're all not great. Uh, we can barely, barely get in range. Maybe if we send a few units... Oh, they, they're shooting. Okay, Liu Bei come give them range block chance. Let's see if we can all get into range somehow by inching up. Yeah, I was figuring some of them could probably go here. But I don't know. Well... Alright, they're walking closer to us, so that's good. Alright. So we we'll get a short 30 seconds of free firing against them. Uh, which we able to shatter that, so that's a win. Alright, this should give us, we just line up our archers in these positions. Liu Bei come here. Alright, we have to start utilizing our other troops to make assault on this gate because it seems like we can't uh, win this battle just with the range, which makes sense. Uh, they have two uh, generals as well as a uh, full garrison. Uh, it's going to be difficult to win this just outright. So all our archers are in decent position. We're going to put them on... Oh, these guys actually don't need to be there anymore. They can be over here. Basically, I think everyone's going to be trying to fight where we enter. So we're going to set these guys up so they can defend our units as they come in. And the unit we're going to send in is actually going to be a general. Uh, once Liu Bei gets his uh, ability back on, we'll have Guan Yu and, and Liu Bei walk in there to take that spot. 
everyone get close enough to get ready. Because once we capture this uh, tower, all our troops can walk in without worrying about getting shot at. Uh, they're starting to send units to respawn. Uh, one thing about these barricades is that uh, their units can also can also not go over them, so they have to loop around as well. So that works to our benefit. Uh, 27 seconds. Let's just make that go faster with triple speed. Although you have to watch out for um, running out of time on attack, but we have plenty of time. Okay, so Bill Bay will go with Gwen Yu, I guess. And go here. Activate ability. Oh, you stay. You stay here. Just you two. Alright, they're inside and they're starting to capture this tower. Uh, it'd be ours really quickly. Alright, we captured it. Alright, so now we can send in our troops. Uh, we actually don't need to run anyone over. Uh, we have our range troop. They sent their uh, non range infantry. We'll just get everyone closer to the door. And. As long as they don't send their archer unit over, who is just clamped right here guarding that barricade, right? They are in a very defensive position. You see, they're lined up on this barricade. Uh, looks very smart, but it limits their range to this area right here. We'll just avoid them for now. Uh, we'll wipe out all the AI units coming to uh, face us over here. These are light spearmen, a militia of, of virtue. 100 uh, morale they are also what's called unbreakable they will never uh, route because of morale therefore you have to just eliminate them the good news is they don't carry shields so archers will make short work of that yes very brave brave yellow turban troops getting melted by Level 1 Militia Archery, who are also very inaccurate. Uh, early on, you know, this is where unit experience come in handy. Uh, your troops are not as efficient, but that's fine. You know, that's why we fight these fights. Uh, you know, peasant band warriors. So the Yellow Turban troops' weakness is that they don't carry shields. Uh, their strength is that they um, uh, are very good in melee combat. So let's switch over to this dense target. There's 11 of them left. It's not worth shooting arrows at them. It's not very accurate. So we're doing a great job. So even they suffer so much damage, right? Usual troop, as they suffer damage, their morale goes way low. You'll start seeing this one shatter. We can just stop shooting. Yep. This unit just won't shatter. Even if it's down to one man, he will continue to fight. We'll wait till the others arrive. We'll take out all their infantrymen before we uh, deal with their generals. Uh, we'll use our generals to deal with their generals to prevent the archer from doing damage to us. Uh, we see they somehow send men to this door, which makes no sense. Alright, we turned off auto fire for these guys because I don't want them to waste shots on this guy right here. We're waiting for that unit to come closer. Uh, we'll shoot them out. Uh, we'll put Liu Bei and Guan Yu in a different group so I can control these guys easier. And just by hitting Tago, fire will anytime. Mm, their generals came, but they're also not walking up, which is interesting. Uh, I think Guan Yu can actually get a duel off, but they don't. I guess they're too low health. They think they will lose the duel, so they won't take it. Okay, so we now have three units of uh, infantry coming up to us. Once they get a little bit closer, we'll release our arrows. I still don't understand why they're guarding that gate. Uh, but, you know, that's that's why they're, you know, AIs. They're not, they're not geniuses. Okay. That unit is just not coming up. They're all standing next to their general, which is fine. We will let our guys start firing at will. They are interested in killing off this uh, militia of virtue, but I'm, I'd rather they shoot at these uh, peasant warriors. These guys really are just, you know, like we're killing them, but we shot a bunch of arrows and killed seven guys. Uh, instead, we could shatter these guys. Yeah, okay, that one's completely shattered. Alright, running out of arrows. The Liu Bei uh, archers are out of arrows. 
Uh, we'll just keep them in the back. No point having them go into a fight. Uh, these guys can join one, so two is still controlled. Uh, trying to get some shots on these guys. Uh, you see the high volley, the high volley here, uh, which is impressive, but it's less accurate. Uh, the direct line shots are more accurate. These reduces the accuracy, uh, but it looks really, really cool. Like, look at that. Okay, uh, shooting away, shooting away. These guys actually have shields, uh, so maybe it's not so uh, efficient to shoot at them, but since we have no one else coming up to offer take the shots, these guys are coming, but I don't think they're coming fast enough. Yeah, we'll just finish up our shots, and then we'll send our generals in. Uh, this is a strategist, although he's the general. Notice how his full health is only 10k, and his damage is extremely low. His charge damage is also extremely low, uh, and no shields, very little armor. Uh, we don't want to have them engage in fights, uh, so we'll just keep them in the back. Okay. Oh, you guys can come back here and chill. Uh, you two need to stay inside. Okay, uh, what we want to do here uh, with the enemies is not to use our infantrymen right now. We want to go in and kill off the generals. Since they don't want to duel, we'll just uh, go up there and fight them. So we're getting a charge on the first line. We're going to get a couple of hits on them. Walk back a little bit. We don't want to fight the generals and also the infantry. We want them to chase us a little. Alright, let's kill Guan Hai first. I am not sure if they are like Oath Thorns or friends, because in the case where they're Oath Thorns, if you kill one, the other one turns berserk. Uh, and uh, in that, if that's the case, you want to kill the strong one first. Uh, so maybe we want to switch over and kill Huang Shao first, just in case. Uh, he has 3,600. Yeah, Alright, we killed Huang Shao. Oh, let's, let's kill the other one now. He didn't have the reaction. So Oathorn's reaction, you'll see a little lightning bulb that pops on. He'll go berserk on control. Uh, and they will start hitting with 40% extra damage. They also receive like a full heal, which is really annoying. Uh, it's very nice that we didn't have that issue here. Uh, stop just chasing him. Can we take a swing at him? Uh, don't want to get surrounded by infantry. Come on, he's right there. One more hit. Oh, he's actually gonna route. He's... Okay, we got him. Uh, let's, kill, let's kill off these. Uh, these are the... Uh, they died. So th that was the Militiaman of Virtue that would never uh, sh route. Uh, but these guys will definitely route. Yeah, so uh, sadly we're going back into another uh, Dynasty Warrior mode with our generals. Which was, wasn't my intention, but... Uh, that's just how this game happens to be. Um, we're basically trying to hunt down the archers, which has backed off. So I guess we are free to send our guys in, so they can actually get some fighting experience. Uh, the generals are still going at it. Almost can use this ability. Let's get a good one, one. Let's get a good one. Uh, that's not so good. Yeah. We're just winning this with the two generals, which it's it's fine. Uh, at this point, you play don't even need to send your guys in at the risk of the enemy getting some shots on them. Uh, we're still having difficult time to get through here because of the uh, arrow towers. You have to be careful where you fight. But fighting in these uh, corridors are totally fine. Uh, there's no threat. These guys uh, just possesses no threat to you as you charge into them. Uh, if there's a huge crowd and you can't get out, obviously it's dangerous. But in this case, it's not dangerous at all. 
They're not even spear units that has charge reflect. They're just regular. I mean, they're trying to brace, but you know, what can you do against horses? Right, see, hitting them with your sword is not as effective. You're maybe killing one per swing, right? But if you run, in them, run them at them with your horse, uh, once they line up, you do much more damage. But right now they're going closer to their arrow tower, so we want to kind of finish them off before they get into range. Let's activate this just in case we make the mistake. Uh, the charging has become less and less effective, mainly because they're getting exhausted. We talked about fatigue in the last uh, lesson. Okay. Let me shadow this group. Alright, their main force here is coming. Uh, we don't have any more range units, so we have to kind of fight that uh, sub optimally. Uh, these guys with shield will come up to the front. Our cavalry actually has more shield against archers than they do, so they're going to be even up more up front. Our Z militiamen are the ones we want to keep in the back. Uh, we're going to have these guys come back as a flank as they probably come to take care of our uh, front troops. I mean, we might as well capture something while we wait. Um, they're going to be coming up, I believe. Um, the archers should definitely try to shoot at us. Uh, and we'll have these guys just face them and absorb the shots. Uh, they'll do some damage, but not so much. 65% is a decent percentage. Yeah, see, they're taking a really long time to move around because of the fatigue. Uh, we'll just let them sit here for a little bit, rest up. Hopefully they engage us outside of their arrow tower range over here. Or else we have to think of something to get them to fight us outside. Alright, capture that. Okay, they're starting to fire at us, which is great. That's exactly what we want. They're inside the arrow tower range, which is annoying. Uh, one plan here is we can just let them fire away at our best uh, arrow uh, range block chance unit to waste their ammo. Uh, see, they're killing. They're still killing quite fast. Uh, we can maybe go lose formation uh, so they hit less. Walk our things back a little bit. Make some space. Have this unit here in loose formation, everyone else behind. Maybe just try to drag them out a little bit so they can uh, get closer to us. Yeah, so hopefully we can take the damage a little bit better. Still sucks to have our units absorb arrows, hits like that, but. It's not really a better plan. Uh, we could rush in, but then we'll get hit by these even harder hitting arrow towers. Uh, their infantrymen are coming out, which is good. We can use our generals who are still very tired. They're not exhausted, but they're still very tired. See, there's, there's really no charge momentum here, so you're not going to do that same splash damage as you did earlier. Okay, not bad. Well, you still did plenty. Okay, so this unit has taken enough, we'll pull him back, we'll switch on our more healthier other units. Okay, we're getting charged at by the enemy uh, infantry, we don't want to be standing inside. Move out, move out. Yeah, you see, once they're fatigued, it's hard to fight. Uh, you move slower. Alright, we'll let them shoot at this new one. That unit's already almost out of ammo. Yeah, we're basically trading the life of our cavalrymen uh, for the enemy arrow, so we can uh, send our infantrymen in without worrying about getting shot at. Because our team militia are just not that great against archers. Okay, our generals are doing a great job of taking off troops in the back. That unit has used up all its ammo. This unit has moved on to try to shoot. Or you can rest a little here. Alright, 
this unit is not taking as much damage, which is great. Alright, we'll move on to the next group. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, you know, simple, straightforward, rinse and repeat. Uh, on Romance, you have these generals, uh, you put them to good use. Alright, you see them charge at you, you get back. You don't want to get surrounded. They're really not moving close enough to shoot at the whole unit, so they're wasting a lot of ammo on just a couple guys, which is great. Alright, let's charge back in. And utilize our abilities. I mean, this unit, yeah, since it's not a captain unit, as it runs out of ammo, they will start to lose morale. Um, the captains have the highest morale, but I think he's gonna route as well. So we just gotta stand back, let him realize the situation, and we'll win the battle. Yep, most of these siege battles are gonna end in uh, these morale routes, just because of the fact that we can't really get a clean fight under arrow towers. Yep, that worked out well. We could have done a little better with how these two tanked the arrows, but uh, it worked out fairly well. And let's claim victory here. All right, just before we sign off, uh, we'll take a quick look at what happened uh, with in terms of damages. Our tribuchet units both did close to 200 uh, damage to their enemy uh, in terms of casualty. The archers did around 50 each. Uh, cavalry, uh, these 23s, if you notice, these are automated numbers. Uh, basically, they divided up the remaining amount that we didn't chase down and divided it into uh, evenly to all our units. So even he got 22 kills, so around 20 to 23. Uh, so we can take those out of these numbers. So actually they hit 20, 20 something people each. These hit uh, 20 something and these hit 30, these hit 40 something. Um, and these hit 170, I guess, then. Uh, the enemy, uh, they're uh, archer unit right here. This is the one with the gold sign. This is their elite archer masters uh, The ones that did most of the damage to this cavalry unit uh, killed 14 units uh, From their garrison the two uh, archer unit killed six each. I believe they killed uh, the archers that were uh, trading fire with them early on and That sums up our fight. I hope you guys enjoy the content um, once again uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and see you guys next time. Bye!